Okay, this is the um, new filament guide system I've uh, knocked up. Um, it's actually working quite well, so I thought I'd just uh, upload it to Thingiverse. Right, so what we've got basically, I've um, removed the um, tubes um, that came with the original machine. I just didn't like them, basically they're really fiddly. They kept on popping out of the, um, the insert here on the, uh, either the stock extruder or the any upgrade extruders. Um, and they're a pain in the ass, um, especially with the reel at the back, um, to um, to thread um, and write the um, filament through. Um, a lot of the time, I'll be reaching over the back, um, trying to thread through or pull the tube off and thread through the tube. And by the time I finished, half of the <laughs> reel will be all sprung out and all of the shop. So. Thought there might, must be a better way. So what I've basically done is um, designed um, these. Um, so basically, um, they pick up. And what the, the great thing about these is they just they you don't need to thread them. So you don't need to undo anything because they just um, if you ever look here, there's little slits in here. So you can actually you know just thread it almost blind. So when the machines um, the other way around. Um, you can just reach behind, and you don't have to try and thread it to the pipe. Or if you want to thread it to the pipe, there's a good good target there to aim for um, and as you go up over the top then um, then it's a lot easier you actually just slip it in the you don't even have to thread it just slip it in the um, little V um, locator there and it just clips in nicely and obviously you just position these uh, as many of these as you want along your um, well, sorry about that I just uh, unplugged the uh, camcorder um, so yeah I just uh, used one of the tubes and um, threaded it through and just got everything nice and tidy. Um, that, another nice thing of um, the setup is um, it's pushed away the sort of location points um, from the for, for the filament. Imagine it coming off the the roll tangential and coming up. The previous one used to come very very close. Yeah, so there was a tendency for the for the filament to actually slip behind slip behind it, just like it's done there. <laughs> Oops, I've just done it now. <laughs> um, so um, these are a lot more central. I could actually do with making this a tad longer for the bottom one, um, just to just to push it out a bit. But I thought I'd just run it with the um, with the setup because they're all the same at the moment. So I thought I'd just run it with the setup and see how we get on. Um, and hopefully anyone who uses it can give us some feedback and we can uh, modify it to suit. Um, so yeah, basically that's, that's basically it. Self-explanatory, you just um, clip these on. Um, I've printed them in a, a clear um, ABS so they're quite brittle um, and I'm sure if you just use a standard coloured ABS it'd probably be a lot better. We just clip them on these little locators for a cable tie just to squeeze it and hold it where you want it and they're easy enough to move up and down and adjust them to exactly where you where they work best. Um, right I'm just going to fit one now so I'll just put the camera on the tripod and I'll be back in a sec back. Um, so typically this is how my bot set up and I can't actually reach around um, easily without pulling it out um, to do the spool change. Um, at some point I, I want to mount them up um, so I can see the spools. So what you do is just grab, put your spool on obviously, grab it. I normally like to locate this one here first just to um, get it going. Uh, then this one, um, this one now obviously you can un undo these and do these as you go along as well and then I just did the last one um, that's nearest the, um, the spool right at the end um, but obviously you'll, you'll do it down way um, that's basically it um, then we just thread it into the um, extruder if no one's seen these extruders these are Dave's 3-in-1 um, extruders um, great, great, probably the best upgrade um, to date um, absolutely brilliant um, so just push it in, feed it through. Oops, need to align it first, feed it through, and we're uh, good to go. Easy peasy. Right, so what I've done as well is I've um, just set up a um, test print to print uh, this maximum um, extremities on the uh, build plate um, just to make sure it all works as I hope. Okay. Mm.
Now, the nice thing about this is there's very little um, friction on the actual filament. If you imagine all that filament going through these, the, um, the white line as it came with the bot, um, I expect there would be a lot of friction. Um, and at the moment, there's basically, I don't know, I, I wouldn't know how to measure it, but there's very little friction actually um, caused by the guides. Um, I expect another nice thing you could uh, possibly do with it as well is if you're having uh, filament feed problems, um, you were to say mark your filament, um, you could possibly really watch it, um, watch it move to make sure it's actually feeding through. As you can see, I've put a little red mark on there, and you can see it actually moving. Um, it's quite difficult to actually see with your filaments uh, moving in those um, in the liners. Um, but that's basically it. Pretty simple. Okay, thanks.